Hello, MMA fans. This is MMA Daily with your daily news and updates. Here are today's top stories. Starting off, Dana White declares early 2025 return for Conor McGregor. Next, Stephen Thompson wants UFC Hall of Fame induction after retirement. Additionally, Armin Sarukian versus Islam Makachev will reportedly take place early next year. Lastly, Tony Ferguson and Nick Diaz are in talks for a potential showdown this coming January. Dana White is getting closer to pinning down a return date for Conor McGregor's comeback. Tuesday marks exactly 38 months since McGregor most recent fight, a loss to Dustin Poirier at UFC 264 in July 2021 that was made all the worse by Conor breaking his leg in the contest. The injury sidelined McGregor for an extended period of time and he hasn't competed since, raising questions as to the state of his competitive future. McGregor has filled his time starring in movies as well as signing on for an executive position in the fast-rising bare-knuckle FC promotion. He was scheduled to fight rival Michael Chandler at UFC 303 this past June, but withdrew from that date due to injury. As of now, Dana White is optimistic that his biggest box office draw will be back at the start of next year. Here is what he said. Conor McGregor will fight next year, early 2025. He's had so much time off as far as the hunger. He's a very wealthy guy. We'll find out. We'll find out when he comes back, but he is definitely one of the big superstars of the sport that elevated the UFC all throughout Europe and other parts of the world. He's been a big star and a great partner for us. UFC veteran Stephen Thompson has made it known that he'd like to be inducted into the UFC Hall of Fame one day. For so many years now, Stephen Thompson has been providing fans with entertaining moments in combat sports. From karate to kickboxing to mixed martial arts, he's achieved a great deal throughout the course of his career. As he prepares to step into the octagon for the 21st time at UFC 307, Wonderboy has taken some time to reflect on his career. In a recent interview, he spoke openly about his run and what he wants next, including a place in the Hall of Fame. Here is what he said. I'm completely satisfied with what I'm doing because I'm doing it for myself, not to gain anything. I'm happy with who I'm fighting and when I'm fighting. I don't need anything from the UFC. I've been with them for a long time and have always tried my best to represent both myself and the UFC. It would be great to make my mark in UFC history and be inducted into the Hall of Fame. That would be an incredible honor. Do you think Wonderboy deserves to be in the Hall of Fame, even though he was never a champion? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Armin Sarukian vs. Islam Makachev is reportedly set to take place early next year for the UFC world title. Right now, Islam Makachev is considered by many to be the pound-for-pound -pound best fighter in the UFC. While you may or may not agree with that assessment, there's no way of denying what he's been able to achieve as UFC lightweight champion. Now it's a case of picking out who the next best challenger is. Armin Sarukian is someone who has fought and lost to Islam in the past, but he's worked hard to get his way to a title opportunity. Now the overwhelming expectation is that it'll happen. According to Armin himself, it's going to happen in the early stages of 2025. Here is what he said. I was informed that this fight would not happen this year and that it will take place early next year. Yes, it's from the UFC, but this is the nature of the sport. Everything can change in a moment and that's why I am keeping myself in shape. I don't care when this fight happens. Even if it does in a year, I will keep working and moving towards this fight. It's not about fighting Islam, it's about becoming the champion. Are you excited for this fight between Armin and Islam, and who do you think will win? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Exciting news is circulating in the MMA community. According to recent rumors, a potential fight between Tony Ferguson and Nick Diaz is currently in negotiations. If the talks materialize, this highly anticipated bout could take place at the beginning of next year. Tony Ferguson, a former interim UFC lightweight champion, is currently on an eight-fight losing streak. On the other side of the cage, Nick Diaz, a veteran of the sport and one of the most popular fighters in MMA history, History, is also facing a challenging period in his career. Diaz is on a three-fight losing streak. His last victory was 13 years ago. Fans are eagerly awaiting more updates on this potential fight. Would you like to see this fight happen? Who do you think would come out on top? Stay tuned for further developments. Thank you for tuning in to MMA Daily. We hope you enjoyed today's coverage of mixed martial arts. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notifications for our latest videos. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below and let us know what you'd like to hear about in our upcoming videos. See you tomorrow with more MMA news. Until then, stay safe and keep following MMA Daily for your daily dose of fighting excitement.